Well, with the tight housing market and skyrocketing rent, people are coming up with creative ways to live. And one solution means paying little to no rent. A market trend report from Zilpi shows the average one-bedroom apartment costs nearly $1,500 a month. And it's $1,650 for a two-bedroom. Well, now a Denver nonprofit has a unique solution, bringing older homeowners with extra space together with young, younger people needing a place to live. Karen Morford has more details for, it. for us. Karen, this program does even more than put a roof over someone's head. Yeah, Jim, it's called home sharing. And while it does provide that additional housing option in this tight market, it also gives resources to those who are simply looking for more support. 65 years ago, Dorothy Crockett moved into this home in the Bonnie Bray neighborhood. We were sort of on the very edge of a fancy neighborhood, you know. <laughs> it wasn't quite that way. When we moved here. And at 98 years old, she has no plans on leaving, despite concerns about safety from her son. I kept saying, please just, I, I'll be fine by myself, you know. <laughs> but he didn't believe me. The answer? Her 26 year old roommate, Michaela Capel. This is like my little half kitchen. The unusual pair isn't really unusual at all. They were matched through the nonprofit Sunshine Home Sharing. Home providers looking for extra income, companionship, or help with chores can open their doors to those looking for affordable housing. I could easily go rent an apartment for the 1500 bucks a month, which is way over what I should be paying and be barely surviving, but to have the ability to be able to buy a house in a few years is awesome. Capel pays little to no rent, but at times will take on the role of caregiver. It works wonderful. I mean, we each have our own lives in a way. But many times Michaela cooks dinner for me and herself and um, she always tells me where she's going when she's leaving and how long she'll be gone, which is very helpful. And perhaps the biggest return for both women is the one they didn't plan for. She's made her home feel like my home. It's like a real good friendship for life. Now it now, anyone who signs up for the program does have to go through a screening process. Then there's a trial period. Right now, the organization says they have 17 home providers just waiting for a match. So if you're interested in learning more, we have more information online at CBSDenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Great idea, Karen. Thank you.